All right, fifth and final episode of this full week of working out series, where I take you guys through my entire week of training, all my workouts, all my exercises, all my tests, and all my reps, to let you guys know exactly what I'm currently doing if it comes to my training. And today, once again, fifth and final episode, my second full workout of this week, which is going to be structured like all my other upper body workouts, two blocks of 10 minutes of some skill training followed by about an hour of reps and sets, mainly weighted calcent because it's going to be a one arm pull up slash weighted pull up workouts. The full workout is going to be down below in the description as always, but for now let's dive into the first block of skill training. And as always on my pull workouts, we're going to be working on some front lever followed by some planche and handstand training, but we're going to start off with my front lever training. And like on my first pull workout, we're going to be doing one assisted straddle front lever with a very thin resistance band followed by another assisted straddle front lever with a thick resistance band back to back for one set. We're going to be doing this about three times and then finish off with one more advanced tucked hold. And like I talked about in my first pull day video, I actually stepped away from doing full body weight shuttle front level holds to focus on some longer hold durations. And as you guys can see, it definitely is working. I can hold these progressions quite comfortably for a couple of seconds and the form on this exercise is quite good. So probably a few more training blocks focusing on some longer hold durations before going back to full body weight front level training. And then as always, finishing off my front level training with one more advanced tucked hold. Doing this as a burnout hold before going for the next skill, which is going to be some planche and handstand training. And just like on my first pull workout, we're going to be working on pretty much expanding my foundation on my planche and my handstand training. So for planche, we're going to be doing some planche leans and then some dynamic planche exercises to pretty much work on my wrist conditioning and my shoulder endurance, which over the last few months has transferred nicely onto my advanced tucked holds on my push days. And it also has made my planche training a lot more comfortable. And then if it comes to my handstand training, we're going to be doing some wall handstand holds pretty much placing my hands as close to the wall as possible to really force my body to be aligned nicely. Because if you put your hands as close to the wall as possible, there really is no way to cheat on this exercise. And so it really forces alignment, which then transfers nicely onto your freestanding handstand holds, which I do on my push days. And then after this second block of skill training, I can actually dive into the first exercise of my reps and sets work, starting off with the band assisted one arm pull up. On this exercise, as always, one top set followed by three back off sets, one top set on the hardest progression where I can usually do about one or two reps, followed by three back off sets on an easier progression where I can do about three to four reps. If you guys watched my first pull day video, you guys will realize that on this day, I'm going to be doing a little bit higher reps on my back offsets on this exercise, even though I am sticking within the strength rep range. And that is because I really don't like doing a lot of reps on this exercise and I kind of keep my higher rep sets for other exercises further down in this workout. And so one top set followed by three back sets before moving on to the next exercise, which is going to be the weighted pull up. On this one, one top set of about four reps and then three back off sets of about eight to 10 reps. And the goal is to, on my top set, increase the weight as the weeks progress and use the back off sets to get more reps in, work on faster rep pace and get some hypertrophy stimulus in alongside my strength training. And if you guys actually have watched the previous full week of working out series, you guys will realize right now that I've actually changed up my rep ranges on my top set and my back off sets in comparison to my last training block. Because my top set used to be a set of 5 and it is now a set of 4 and my back off sets used to be sets of about 6 to 8 reps and now I'm doing sets of 8 to 10 reps like I just talked about. And basically that is because of the reason I also talked about in my second push day. Basically I'm doing a lot more volume in this training block, doing more high rep sets because it is a massive weak point of mine, especially on weighted pull ups. So I kind of want to tackle that weak point, get better at high rep work, probably build some muscle in the progress and obviously use use all of that to get better on my low rep sets. And because I'm also doing a lot more reps on my back 
pack of sets i kind of find that the last few sets on this exercise usually end up being rest sets so pretty much whenever i can't do 10 reps all at once i will take small breaks in between my sets usually when my grip actually gives out before my lats do but i'll just take a 10 to 15 seconds break before going back into the same set and not stopping until i've hit my desired amount of reps that i want to hit for that workout and over the last weeks, pretty much from doing more high rep sets, I actually got a lot better at this. And like I talked about in my previous video, I actually want to keep doing this for the next few training blocks, accumulate some more volume and work on my capacity before going full blown train training on my weighted pull ups. But I'll keep you guys updated in the next full week of working out series. And after one top of the three back off sets, we're going to be moving on to the next exercise, which is going to be the explosive pull up. And like I talked about, about in previous videos I actually really like to end up my pull workouts with some explosive pulling exercises because at this point in time after I've done my one on pull up my way to pull up training my CNS is primed to the max and I feel very very light so it really makes sense to do some explosive pull ups because they actually feel very very good after once again you have primary CNS to weight pull up and one on pull up training we're gonna be doing this for about two sets of about four reps, really focusing as much as possible on pulling up as explosively as possible rather than getting more reps in over time. So really the explosive nature on this exercise is a prime focus right now. I also like to superset this with some top holds to pretty much finish off my back once and for all and also to work on the top position of my pull up which tends to be a weak point of mine. So just some top holds after my explosive pull ups before going on to the next exercise which is going to be the face pull. Like I talked about in my last pull day video this really is not about getting stronger or getting bigger. This is pretty much all about shoulder stability and shoulder health and if you're training for planche and you're pretty much always in that protracted shoulder position it definitely makes since to throw this exercise in there to keep your shoulders balanced and healthy. We're going to be doing this for about two sets of 20 reps and that is going to be the end of this pull workout. And that is going to be the full weird calisthenics pull workout, my second pull workout of this week. It's going to be about 12 sets in total and what has changed in comparison to my last training block. First and foremost my front lever training and secondly obviously like I just talked about the rep ranges on my weighted pull ups. They have changed quite drastically on the second pull workout, pretty much doing a lot more reps on my back off sets. To work on my weak point and probably build some more muscle mass that I can then use to get stronger in my one on pull up training and my weighted pull ups. But for now, let's finish off today's video. So, as always, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and share the video with somebody that you think it might be useful to. If you guys have any more questions, video ideas, or advice, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Three videos a week and thank you guys so much for all the views on the videos lately because the channel is getting some traction as from the last week. We're getting in a lot of views lately and I'm very, very, very happy about it. So if you guys have been watching the videos lately, thank you guys so much. And so thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Laters.